Good morning and welcome um, to Intech Center online tutorial. My name is Aida. Uh, I am one of the tutors at Intech Center and today I will be um, guiding you through the functional skills maths level one uh, sample paper. To begin with, please note that this video is made for educational purposes only for Intech Center customers and learners. In no way is this affiliated with City and Guilds and we cannot guarantee that the answers provided are 100% correct. Um, now, if you'd like to find out more about our funded courses, uh, you can do so on our website on uh, intechcenter.com. You can find information um, about the English, Maths, IT and Employability funded courses. Also, we have private courses just in case you're not um, eligible for the funded programs, again in Maths, English uh, and IT. Um, as for exam preparation, we have extensive exam preparation for uh, maths at uh, level 2. Uh, you will find a navigation tutorial which is uh, useful for people who sit exam at both level 1 and level 2. Um, now, there's no link yet related to the level 1. It will be updated um, on our website. Um, and uh, I will now go ahead and show you um, the level 1 sample 1 paper on City and Guilds. Once you find the link on City and Guilds, uh, this might come up uh, where it's asking you to uh, get Adobe F Flash Player. Make sure you um, do so, otherwise you won't be able to see the exam. Once you click on the tab here, it will ask you to either allow or block run um, Flash. I will click allow and it will uh, direct us to the exam page. Right, so here this will come up in the actual exam as well. Uh, you will be given an exam key code in the actual exam. However, as this is a, a demo, you don't have to worry about it. Um, you just have to click OK because this can be accessed by anyone at any time. So let's click OK. Again here, uh, it says in uh, login, but you have to confirm your details in the actual exam. You will find your first name, last name, um, date of birth and uh, exam name. Make sure that the exam is the correct one. If you find an error within your details, please let the invigilator know so that this can be um, corrected. Once you're ready, you can click confirm. Now we're waiting for it to load. It gives you four hours to complete the sample paper online. The actual exam is one hour and 30 minutes. So I would suggest you to do the same thing, to attempt the sample paper within this time. Um, you can't pause the exam, so you'd have to do it um, within the four hours. Otherwise, you'd have to start all over again. And uh, your answers won't save. So make sure you make a note of them if you think uh, you would like anyone to look at them or to give you their opinion about um, how you tackle the question. Uh, as for general instructions, you uh, can use a calculator, you may use a dictionary. There are three tasks to complete and uh, make sure you spend an equal amount of time for each task so that you have time to go through each one of them. Um, make sure you check your calculations and uh, that you need to click on I to find the information as well as to use the on-screen calculator to um, to do so if you need to use it or if you have a um, calculator um, given on the day of the exam you can use either one as long as um, you have one. If we click start we will be um, given the first scenario so this is the first part of the exam there's three parts and I will go um, through them with you. We uh, have to check all our work as we go along. Introduction. This task is about a sales competition for stuff in a shop. Uh, the people who work on the tills have to sell some soft toys. There is a competition to see who can sell the most. You have to give your manager the results of the competition. So question one has four marks. We have to fill in the table with the total number of toys each person sold, the total value of the toys each person sold. So the to total number of toys sold, this is um, straightforward, 21 plus weight is 29. So if you want, you can put this right here. So this is, as I said, very straightforward. 10 plus 24, it will give us 34. 
10 plus 24 is 34. Next one is 15 plus 8 will give us 23. Mm, the next one is 16 plus 16 equals to 32. And the last one we have 11 plus 22 is going to give us 33. The total value of toys sold, now you will have to break this down. So we know that per teddy bear uh, you would get 10 pounds. We have 8 teddy bears, so we'll do 8 times 10 equals 80 pounds for 8 teddy bears. And then 21 times 7 equals to, let's see, let's use the on-screen calculator. So 21 times 7 will give us 147 plus the 80 we have a total of 227 the next one is Mohan if you want you can put their names here we have Ross Mohan we have 10 times 10 equals to 100. Uh, 24 times 7 equals to, let's see, we have 168. Together it will be 268. Third one, we have Nimita with 15 times 10 will be 150 and then we have 8 times 7 56 and then we have 150 plus the 56 206 and that is Nimita The next one we have is Charlie. So let's put Charlie down. With 16 times 10 is 160, and 16 times 7, let's see, 7 times 16, we have a total of 112 plus the 160. It's 272. And the last one, we have Abby with 11 times 10 is 110. And 22 times 7. Twenty two times seven, it will be one hundred fifty four plus the one hundred ten, it will be two hundred sixty four. Perfect. So now we are done with the first bit. I hope you understood what you had to do. First, we found the total numbers, number of toys sold, and then we, fi we had to find out the cost uh, of the toys sold. Next, the second question is one mark. Uh, they're asking us who do we think should win the competition. Well, um, you can look at it either at the amount, most amount of toys sold, or uh, at the most value they made. So, as for toys sold, it will be Mohan, who made 268, and uh, total value it would be Charlie, uh, with 272. Uh, Either one of them is correct. I will go with Mohan because he sold the most. So uh, let's say Mohan sold the most toys. And that's about it. If he was Charlie, we would have said uh, he has the highest value of toys sold or he made the most amount of money. Question 3. The winner gets a prize of 15% of the total value of the toys he or she sold. How much money will the winner get for the prize? Let's find out. 
So we picked Mohan, so we have to stick with Mohan. He made 268. And in order to find the percentage, I will do 15 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.15. This is the decimal point. So then I can use it on the total amount we have by timesing it with 0 0.15 to find out what 15% of 260 represents. And we get 40 pounds and 20 pence. That's how much he will get. Now we can move on to the second part of the first question. Question 4, we have to draw a table to show the results of the competition to uh, the manager. Uh, the table must show the results in order. Total number of toys each person sold. Total value of toys um, each person sold. Winner and the prize money. Um, so we'll start by expanding the table so that we can put all the uh, information in it. Uh, we have first to do the results in order. So um, that will be one column. The next one would be the name. So we have three. Number of um, toys sold per person. We have three. And then we need the total value. And then we'll have to put um, one at the bottom for uh, winner and the prize money. So we have how many people? Two, three, four, five. So we have... Um, Ross, Charlie, Mohan, Abby, and Nimita. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's put another row for the winner. So we'll start with results in order. Then we'll have the name. Next column would be number of toys sold. And the last one will be the total value of toys of toys sold. Perfect. So we'll start with um, the bottom so that we can put the last person uh, with the prize money uh, underneath. So we have fifth Nimita. who sold 23 toys and made 206 pounds. Don't forget to put the pound sign uh, because you're showing money here. You have to make sure you're clear about that. Fourth will be Ross with 29 toys sold and a total amount made of 227 pounds. On the third place we need another one here. On the third place um, we have Abby who sold 33 toys and made a total of 264 pounds. Second is Mohan, uh, sorry uh, Charlie Hold on a second. No, because that wouldn't be clear. We'll go by... Yeah, that's fine. Actually, Charlie with 32 toys and a total amount of 272. And on first, we have Mohan. with 32 toys sorry Charlie is 32 and Mohan is 34 and then the S is A and a total amount of 268 pounds so this is our guy um, let's see if we can highlight him 
font size, let's make it bigger maybe, so that it stands out. Cell text, here we have the formulas, the characters, that's fine, and then we'll say, actually let's put it on the right, another column. Let's see if it works. Perfect. We'll get rid of the writing in it. Let's delete this bit. Perfect. And then we'll put the prize money. Which is 40 pounds, 20 pence. Perfect. Now we can move on to the next one and this is the last question in the first scenario. Uh, question 5 has two marks. We have to choose uh, one of your calculations for question 1 or 3 to show a check. We have to check by a different method to the one we used originally. We can use approximation, reverse calculation or any other suitable different method. Uh, we have to check back question 1 and 3 to see which one we would like to pick. So in question 1, I think is the easiest to pick. Question 3 has the reverse calculation of percentages. You can go with the easiest one in here, which could be um, the addition that is going to be converted in a, a subtraction. Uh, why? Because reverse calculation is the most um, straightforward formula to use. So we have 29 minus 8 is 21. So question 1. 29 minus 8 equals 21. Uh, this is the first part of the uh, level 1 sample paper uh, finished. We'll be moving on to the second um, part uh, shortly. Thank you and um, please continue watching for the next